Embra, 3 and 20 remaining in the first. Kagiwa to Hatfield, nice pass. And Enrico Villanueva is fouled by Adukul. And you notice a lot of these plays now are being concentrated underneath the basket. Because, you know, Mark Kagiwa is there, JJ Helkerman is take a look at his pass all the way inside, making the extra pass, and finally the man perimeter. You've got a JJ Helterbrand and Mark Agiwa. So a lot of the inside players are getting free and going one and one, and they're able to get good. Uh, B McDerby is 43-35, and here's Kagiwa, drop step, turns around, misses. William Eva waited for the contact, and he will take two free throws. Uh, a lot of players here playing have, have played for the other teams. This is the official underwear of the PBA. Holding on to his lower back as Don Aliado takes his place. You know, there's a marked improvement in the way Rico Villanueva takes his free throws. And here's Aliado. He turns. Aliado will miss. Then M. Brown has the ball. He speeds up the pace. He goes behind the back. He goes to Villanueva. And the layup won't drop, but he will take two. Well, I think he's also very wary about the defense. Wow, that double behind the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but look at Villanueva realizing that the defender on the part of uh, BMEG. The defense was there for uh, Denon Brown, but quickly switching over when the pass was made to Enrico Villanueva, stopping him from making that layup. Layups. Coach Joseph Chico has been looking for in Ginebra, but we've seen a lot of chemistry with his BMAC team. Be able to uh, take a crack at that uh, second automatic semi final spot. You know, for everything that we've said about Barangay Ginebra and its problems and its woes, losing four out of five. They're in a situation where they can get an outright quarterfinal slot. And an outright quarterfinal slot. And as you said earlier, three of its last four losses were by one point. So this could be a semi-final team right there, despite the fact that they're struggling with lack of chemistry. So maybe the why they couldn't execute was Willie Wilson didn't have anyone to pass to. Mike Cortez sending it over to Villanueva. A Canaletta. Canaletta has had a quiet defensive night. It's normally uh, a threat. A uh, very able six, uh, sixth man uh, para sa BMEG Derby Ace. Villanueva getting a lot of attempts from the line. And there's a reason why that's happening. It's not just by accident. I think uh, BMEG, BMEG's inside defenders realizing that uh, Villanueva's less than a 60 percent free throw shooter you'd rather make him earn his points from the line than get those easy lay layups 66 53 lamang pa rin ang uh, llamados villanueva nice spin and he has 11 points in this 